What's going on guys? I wanted to put out a quick video talking about speed in your reselling business. And specifically when usually when you hear the word speed, you think about a lot of activity and that's not what we're talking about. Lindsay and I try to create speed in our reselling business by the strategic decisions that we make. I'm gonna use three examples to explain exactly what I'm talking about. The first example is building a sourcing route. When we first started, we would just be randomly going into thrifts and we would do our best to find as many profitable pairs as we could. And I think that makes a lot of sense when you're just getting started out. But we wanted to create speed and efficiency uh, so that we didn't have to go into dozens and dozens of thrifts to find the amount of pairs that we wanted to find. So we started building sourcing routes all around New England. That meant going to a bunch of thrifts and then saying, all right, this doesn't make sense to go to this one anymore, but this one is fully stocked in what we call high volume thrifts. There's always tons of shoes to look at and we can say no to a lot of them and uh, still bring home a lot of inventory being strict in our sourcing. We built roots of all these high volume thrifts throughout New England. So now that because of that strategic decision to build those sourcing routes, now in a single day, we can bring in hundreds and hundreds of pairs. That creates a lot more efficiency and that creates a lot less labor. In a single day, we can do what used to take us an entire week. The second example is while you're outsourcing, being very strategic with the actual pairs that you bring in. Now, if you're stricter in your sourcing and you're bringing in pairs that need less cleaning, obviously it's gonna speed up the cleaning process. If you're being strategic and doing your research with respect to the marketplaces you're using and only bringing in pairs that are selling well on the marketplaces you're using, it will speed up the sales process. In that strategic decision, you're speeding up cleaning, you're speeding up sales, money's coming in quicker. The third example I wanna talk about is if you choose to build your business and build out a team that will help you grow your business, for example, you can see uh, there's a couple totes in the back. We just dropped off another three bins to for one of our team members to process, to clean and photograph, and we picked up the stuff that had already been cleaned and photographed. Being strategic in who you hire for your business will absolutely speed up the process without creating more labor for you. For example, we've also had other people that we've hired where it took them twice as long to do half as much inventory. And that just didn't make sense uh, to speed up our business. There's three examples where speed can increase your reselling business without increasing more labor. But the most important thing that we wanna do with our YouTube videos is build up some chatter in the comments below. Let me know what you think of these three examples. Share an example of how you've created speed in your business. And as always, if you have any questions at all, put them into the comments below. Hopefully these type of videos help you leapfrog some of the mistakes that we have made and get closer to daily consistent wins, which is what we all want to see in our reselling business. Till the next video, we hope you're enjoying each and every single step.